Remember the famous cheese opening scene from the documentary? That's when we knew we had gold. Mm. We are in Wisconsin. It didn't even occur to me that the cheese would be delicious. You should have a little piece. America. Madison, Wisconsin, hello! Somewhere due west of Milwaukee, uh, Madison, by a bunch of lakes, I don't know. Harmontown is now in session. Won't you please welcome to the stage Wisconsin's own mayor, Dan Harmon! Thank you, Madison, Wisconsin. Thank you very, very much. You are too kind. You are too numerous. You are probably too cold. And, uh, and your room is too echoey. But uh, we, we are going to... Uh, uh, Imagine me as just a, uh, a god in a cave <laughs> yeah, for this is, episode. Is it echoey out there or just for us? Maybe it just bounces back weird for us. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Let, Jeff, Jeff, quick improv sketch in a cave. Okay. Uh, man, this place is dark and... Uh, oh, I found a sandwich. <laughs> I'm, I'm Batman. Whoa! <laughs> All right, scene over. Okay. As long as you can make it work for yourself. Um, this, is, this is as close as we're going to get to my hometown of Milwaukee uh, uh, on this tour. I know, uh, I know, did someone just yell out, we love beer? Is that what you said? Brown deer. Brown deer. Oh, yeah, brown deer, yeah. Is that Frito? Wait, where's, where's my buddy Frito? Is Frito here? There he is. Where's Frito? Where's Frito? My, my, my best friend from high school is here tonight, Dave Friedel. Uh, right, let's get him up here. Let's bring him up. Okay, I, well, he has a story to tell. I, 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 D D D D Dave, do you think you can make it up? Because I know part of the story is, is, involves your locomotion. Can you, can you, do you think you can make it up here, Dave? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Break down. Madison, Wisconsin. I fucked your mama in the mouth and the tonsils. I fucked your mama like my name was Dan. My name is Dan. I fucked her like a man. I fucked her once. I fucked her twice. I fucked her fleas. I fucked her lice. I fucked her in the barn. I fucked her in the hole. I fucked her like a pole lock. From Milwaukee. I fucked her with a walkie talkie like my name was Bruce Willis in Die Hard. I fucked your mama by the yard. Here's a yard. It's my dick. Here's two yards, both my dick. 50 yards, whole thing's my dick. I got a football dick. Go Packers, go! That wasn't bad, Jeff. That wasn't a bad rap. We're off to a good start. I like it. It I wasn't like a good one, but I, I said, unlike most of my raps, that was that was that was not bad. I like that you you fucked her fleas and her lice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can see where I think of the rhyme. <laughs> What's another thing like lice that... Dave Friedel, everybody. Oh, yeah. uh, Friedel. Hello. Hello. Hey. Good to see you, man. Have we ever met? Yeah, like uh, probably uh, 10, 11 years ago. Uh, it was like a Dragon Lounge or someplace like that in L.A. If we went out drinking. Oh, the drawing room, maybe? Maybe it was a drawing room. Did you come drink out the drawing room? It's from your apartment in Los Angeles. Uh, huh. Dave Friedel, my, my, my best friend. I met Dave when I was uh, 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 15, 14 years old. I, was, I just transferred into Brown Deer High School in, 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 the, in, the, in Brown Deer, Wisconsin, from uh, Marshall High School, which was 4,000 students. And I was like, oh, uh, and, then, and, then I, and then I transferred into this 600 student like, suburban high school. And uh, not the coolest entrance. Uh, I wore a, a few felt hats. And, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> did just own an Inspector Gadget raincoat, which I did, I did wear frequently, and blah, blah, blah. Not, not the coolest guy uh, coming into the school. Dave was the first guy who befriended me because he saw my Dungeons and Dragons t-shirt. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's something along those lines. It was one of those ones where it's in homeroom. I think it was, uh, you know, the D&D &D and Next was just made really well. Yeah, yeah, I can't you, remember if it was you approached me first or, or I approached you or whatever it was. But you can't, I remember it as you coming up to me and going like, hey, you role play? Like, like you saw my Dungeons & Dragons shirt and I said, yeah. He said, you, you use a computer? Uh, it's like, it was easy to be a nerd back then. <laughs> Those, <laughs> there, there was one way to be a nerd back then. Yeah, there was, like, like if you had a computer, if you knew what one was or how to turn it on, instead of a typewriter, you were a nerd. Uh, and, and, and there were TV shows about how people would use computers to make the refrigerator open or, or make the world go to war with itself because computers were magical and for nerds um, alone. And that, so you, yeah, you told me about the Citizens Band emulator, and it was just like this 300 baud like, chat room, which is where I lost my virginity. I, I, I met the girl I lost my virginity to. The, the, L, the LA podcast episode where I'm reading from my journals and I'm talking about the girl that I... That I <laughs> yes, that I, the girl that I, uh, with the condom froze to the room yeah, of the car. Yeah, and then I, and I had so I had such good sex with that she went to a mental hospital. That was the, uh, you know, uh, Stan Lee needs to come in the bottom and go, Web Hensel, remember him, Dan fucking a girl mental, uh, from, from issue number 128. So you, you, you fucked her brains out, is what you're saying. Mm. Well, that's how we choose to interpret it. Not that I, not that I, not, not that I sent her into a lifelong depression with, with my adolescent ruddings. Um, the uh, it was just like like free, what, my point is, Friedel is a linchpin. He's a galactic nexus. It's like like we're we're we're, we're so close to my hometown. Friedel came out here, and uh, 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 I, I want to talk about your toe. Oh, of course. <laughs> we, 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 so, so some woman made a theme song out there. Yeah. Freedom's <laughs> child. I think Peter Gabriel is here tonight. Freedom, freedom's toe, freedom's toe. I think uh, Pearl Jam did. Freedom's toe, cause he can't walk around. You got a blister on your toe. Yeah. <laughs> Story does not end there. No, no, it doesn't end there. The blister got a little out of control, and uh, I, I thought I'd take care of it and, and cleaned it up, which was you know, doing the proper care to it. But maybe I, I quit the antibiotics a little too early or something along those lines. And so uh, by mid December, when I started to notice the toe smelling like cheese, <laughs> it's not, toast stories are not gonna, you know, they're gonna make you feel warm and cuddly. This is not date night. I mean, we're from Wisconsin here, so it's a certain, yeah, it's a, 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 so your big toe on your right foot? Yeah, it's a month removed. It's been gone? Yeah. It's now, now, how does that affect your ability to stand up? Like, don't you need big toes? It seems to be doing pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it turns out we don't, we don't need our big toe for anything, do we? I, I, I've been told, uh, like, yeah, I mean, unless I want to play basketball, you know what I mean? Uh, what do they do with their big toes? See, you, they jump. All right. I, I, yeah. I mean, it's just a but here's the creepy thing about the whole thing. Can we see it? Can you take it off? Can we, can we take it's it off? It's all bandaged now. It's all bandaged now. Uh, here's, here's, here's the weird thing, okay? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to approach the weirdness in stages. Our dungeon master, Spencer, has uh, two, two toes fused together, so he's technically also missing a toe. <laughs> David Friedel was my first Dungeons and Dragons buddy in high school. Uh, uh, David Friedel, his name is Germanic, Friedel, but what did we call you? Frito. 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 Free toe. Free toe. He is now free of a toe, like Spencer. 
who has two toes for you together? Should, should, less uh, impressive to let, Madison's let, 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 audience let, let, than I let, let's thought. Guess, let's guess, You're uh, saying a string of meaningless uh, coincidences. I'm saying call Oliver Stone. Bring, let's bring Spencer out right now. Oh, yeah, let's bring Spencer let's out. Bring Spencer. I want him to be freedom. <laughs> Spencer, this is my buddy, Dave Friedel. He, he was my first Spencer. Nice to meet you. He didn't really dungeon master, but, but uh, you know, we, we played D&D &D together, right? Yeah, no, you did, you did. Yeah, you did. It, was, it was Shadowlands. That was yeah, the yeah. time I ran later on. You, and you, you, you GM'd a little, right? Yeah, that was yeah. The, the, the game that I GM'd. The, the, uh, the Dungeons and Dragons steps that you wrote for the Alewives, I remember you ran that session. Uh, and that was one of the first sessions <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was that was a right what you know thing. How do you think uh, how do you think Spencer's been doing as a dungeon oh, he's, master? He's great. Dave was my was, Dave was my first friend in high school, and he's my first drinking buddy too. We used to get we, we would get drunk. We would raid the parents' uh, booze cabinets, and we would mix tequila with Mountain Dew and, uh, <laughs> uh, and have the juice and anything else. Yeah, yeah, anything we could get our hands on. Uh, uh, and I can't drink gin to this day because uh, I got a whole, we had one bottle of gin. And that's all we had, and I drank so much of it, I puked. And I, I can't I, anything with gin in it will now make me. Uh, uh, um, not, not, not important. I mean, you guys are the people that don't give a shit about that toe nexus. So at this point, I mean, what? It's pearls before swine, frankly. Uh, so you, I'll you, just tell you what I had for breakfast in the morning. Your toe is cut off. Your, your toe is cut off right at the, at the at the base of the toe, or where? Yeah, it's kind of at an angle again. I can take the shoe off. Mama. Take it off. Take the shoe off. Okay. <laughs> I think we, we, we owe it to the audience to see what the hell's going on here. All right, while he does that, uh, Spencer, uh, 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 I'm being attacked by an orthopedic surgeon. <laughs> Rushing at you with his bone saw, the orthopedic surgeon has eyes only for your foots. <laughs> he dives directly at you, sword drawn, bloodless, raging in his eyes. <laughs> Boy. That's all. That was the. Uh, yeah. That was uh, <laughs> smooth, smooth jazz uh, DM fusion. The, not the, not I, the I track hit, I would have chosen. I hit the wrong track. Uh, speaking of. Speaking I of. Think, meanwhile, something okay. terrible is going on. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, fuck. That is a man without a. <laughs> Wait, so how recent was this? Uh, it was, uh, it was, I lost the, the, the dance to the toe on Christmas Eve morning. So, uh, yeah, it was nice and pretty But that's good luck, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, I think that's... So, 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 so they, it's, they cut... They didn't bring me shit. took my... <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't cut the whole toe off. They cut it off at a diagonal? Yeah, they kind of got it at a diagonal. So you have that last phalange there? Or? Yeah. Yeah, it's not the... the yeah, Metatarsal. Sorry. Right, Jesus wait, Christ. Wait. I don't know. I don't no. think. I don't think it's the same lady. No, it's no. just from the darkness. Like it would be weird if she was it's like. Not, it's, 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 still, it's still a phalange, isn't it? No, it's a phalange finger. The phalanges are here. Come on, dude. <laughs> All right. 
What, what, what do they cut off? What's at stake, sir? What, what, uh, <laughs> come on, dude, what? Finish your thought. <laughs> come on, dude, get your toe shit together. You're gonna get laid tonight. I mean, I have, I have a girlfriend. I, 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 I uh, I'm, 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 I'm skipping town tonight like a, like a, like a thief in the night. Like, uh, I want you to get your money's worth, but, uh, Aren't they still called phalanges on your, on your toes, no? They are. Yeah, I, yeah. I it's metacarpal and metatarsals in your foot. Yeah. The, the end are still called phalanges, right? There's the carpals and the metacarpals and the tarsals and the metatarsals, and I think those are all phalanges. Yeah, so fuck off, whoever you are. <laughs> Crazy, drunk, foot doctor lady. No more Mai Tais for her. Uh, and, and foot books. So you, She's drunk on knowledge. She's abusing it. So Dave, you, you had a, a blister that went bad, and now, now, you're, now part of your toe is gone. That's fucked up. It's a cautionary tale, if ever there was one. Take your blisters seriously, people. What, what, what did you do wrong? What, 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 what can you tell these poor kids? If, if, if you could go back in time. <laughs> I, I want it to be the same lady you know, the whole time, like, Ooh, diabetes! Foot expertise! Um, are you saying, wait, what did you say about diabetes in Wisconsin? We're gonna cure it in Wisconsin? Oh, we cheer it, okay, well, yeah. Wait, is that a diabetes thing? Is it? Okay, so it's not it's not that you, you ate a bunch of Twinkies and got a blister and your toe came off. It wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the it's the, the, the chemical imbalance that causes the Oh, I see. So, so it wasn't just like you had an infection that went awry. But it is an infection that yes went very awry. So you what what could you have done differently? Uh, I think the, the thing was well the, the thing that I think. Oh, I see. Uh, I just want to know if that guy said leave him, leave him alone or leave it alone. Was that was that your advice about a blister? Leave it alone. <laughs> like he picked at it until his toe came off. Stop, stop picking at it. Uh, I have I have one last thing to ask about 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 diabetes, Dave. Is it uh, is it true? But what I heard that it can be cured with a rap about diabetes. <laughs> What a brother knows. Ate too many Twinkies, lost my toe. Going down low, go, free toe, free toe, gotta lose his toe. Went, went to the doctor the other day, said, what am I gonna do? He said, no way, leave the blister alone, put it up on the table. You're gonna be in a toeless stable if you don't. Follow my directions. Fight your mama with my erections. Madison, 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 Madison. Capitol Building, Mad Town, USA. Fucked your mama so hard she thought I was gay. She said, how could you be that attentive to women without knowing like, just part of it yourself? This is what she meant. She wasn't homophobic. No way. She was more, um, uh, uh, she was an advocate. Uh, <laughs> And, and, we, and, we, and, we, and we, spent, we spent a long summer together. And I, and I fucked her a lot. And uh, you know, I'm, uh, is it the weirdest audience that we've ever had, Jeff? No, the, 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 in terms of their relationship with us? No, no, it's, it's, the, it's the audio here. The, it's, it's the distance between us and the darkness. It's like, it's a cavern. You guys are like dark crystal Muppets. Like, like they, <laughs> we can only see shapes and, and then hear like you, you, I, you, ideally, you, you would all be up on stage surrounding us. Like we would all be like. Uh, I, I'm still trying to figure out what makes you angry and what makes you clap. <laughs> there's, a, there's a there's a sense of outrage when I. Uh, uh, when, what's that, sir? 
Who went, yes, we can talk about it. Otherwise, there's no show. <laughs> Are you saying, sir, that you'd like to talk about it? What's your name, sir? Ethan. Ethan. Ethan, come on, come on. Can you stand up, up, up here, Ethan? Up here. Do you want to hold your mic while you do that? Would it help if I held that? If you're, if you're young and spry, you can, you can do it this way, yeah. Great. Right. Nice. <laughs> All right, Ethan. Hey, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, stand up like a gentleman and be, right. be next to him. Yeah. You, you, you haven't earned Dave Freeland's status where you can just sit down. You, you have to cut off your psyche's toe before you get, to, you get a chair. All right. Is that right? I knew you before you did Martin. Well, Damn. God bless you. Uh, what's your name again? Ethan. Ethan, Ethan uh, will you sing a country song for us? Which one? This one. <laughs> Take it, Ethan. There's some themes developing. 
race is, I mean, race has always been a theme of the show, but we're getting more specific. Like, I brought, I brought all the black people in the audience yeah. up on stage, and then I started rapping about fucking, like, government. And here's another thing that happened. Uh, it hasn't aired yet in Chicago. We, we, I, we started rapping at the end of the show, and then it turned into like this weird, low-stakes American Idol thing where people started coming up, and they wanted to rap, and people would boo them or not, and then they would get off this, uh, this line for him. And then this guy that wasn't really a Harmontown fan, I think he'd been dragged there by his friends, yeah. kind of a, kind of a stout, yeah, his name was Khalil, he closes the show, spoiler, but he's like, he, 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 his, his, his demeanor is very like like giggly uh, off stage, but he came up with like this kind of I would say ice cubish kind of like yeah. register, and he and he, he he laid it out and he used the N word with grace and uh, a plum. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and, and I I had a fucking spasm like I <laughs> because I don't want to ever have to, I don't want to ever say it I I, I I I but I love it I, I, I love it. And I do have some kind of strange. Like, I got, I got something to work out with black people. Should, I, don't, I don't know what it is. Should, should we bring all the Latinos up on stage right now? I don't, I don't have anything yeah, to work why, out with them. Why not, though? Why bring Latinos up on stage? That's kind of weird. Why not? Why not? Why, yeah, it seems why racist not? to think that's weird. <laughs> you know, why, why, are they, why is it so weird? Will, will all the Latinos get on stage right now, please? All, all Latinos to the stage. Okay, if you're a family Latin. Okay, we got two takers. Ethan, out! Ethan, thank you, Ethan. Uh, thank you, Ethan. That was cool. All right, Ethan did one of the cool Harmontown maps. He dismissed himself. We like that. I say give Ethan a T-shirt if we can, if we can handle it. All right, all right, all right. All right. we got a, we got a. Madison has five Latinos. Yeah. Uh, what, what's your names? Dave. Dave. Dan. Dan. I know I look white. Hey, listen. Oh my God. <laughs> Sarah and half, okay. Liana. What? Did you say? Liana. 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 All right. So, uh, what is your uh, ethnicity? Uh, uh, well, I'm uh, Hispanic and uh, I'm like one sixteenth Apache, so. Nice. Me too, me too. Uh, I just realized this is as close as we'll ever get. Okay, two people in the audience are gonna are gonna get this. This is as close as we'll ever get to having uh, uh, being able to recreate the uh, animated Rubik's Cube cartoon from the 80s. There, there, was, there was a Rubik's Cube cartoon. It's called Rubik the Amazing Cube, and for some cool reason, I, 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 like, 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 I don't know that it was it was like this. They, they made it like it was like a it was a, a, a Hispanic like. Uh, Family, like uh, there was not. I mean, I don't. There, not, Rubik wasn't. He was like an ET kind of figure that could turn into anything Rubik colored, and uh, and 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 in the, every every episode he'd fall off a shelf uh, and get scrambled, and you, and so that's when he loses his powers. You have to solve him, but. But but the kids that traveled with him they were they were brothers and sisters and they were all they were I can't, they were I don't know if they were Mexican or, or what what the what the uh, they, 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 they 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 spoke with, with 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 accents the actors they hired had accents and they I don't I, I never I remember being a kid and going well this is weird but I have no, I have no problem with it maybe it's because Menudo was big and they were like let's be it, let's be like let's make it let's cash in on this Menudo thing the way everything was Australian when Crocodile Dundee came out. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that, that really is what it has. But then, you know, uh, have fun with the Chinese. Uh, <laughs> take, take, all, all, all the Chinese people come to the stage. Right? <laughs> all, all, every Chinese person on stage. No, but you have to be a, a citizen of China. Like, like we're, uh, uh, you, you can't just be some awesome Chinese dude. Uh, <laughs> So Dan, what, what, we, we have five Latino, Latinos up on stage. It wasn't really my call. I mean, I, I, I'm saying uh, maybe sing a song or uh, samba. Samba. Isn't that racist though? I mean, what, 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 like, what, there's a fine line between irony and uh, uh, everyone. That, everyone that's yelling stuff out right now, you're all crossing a weird uh, line. Make them, make, make them do this. Make them do that. They're, uh, at least learn their names or something. <laughs> hey, well, here's the safe, safe thing to do. Shut up for a second. Like, like, just, <laughs> then you won't, then you won't cross any lines. Uh, 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 I don't want to make them dance um, or sing 
or, uh, uh, but I think they should do a, uh, a scene about drug safety. About, about drug safety? Yeah. Okay. okay, you guys are my family. I'm your youngest child. I'm 15. Uh, you're my mom, you're my dad, and you're my little brother, and you're my, uh, you're, you're, you are our, uh, you, you said you were, uh, you said I'm only half or something like that? Okay, you play our white housekeeper. <laughs> My, my name is Ramon. I'm your mom, I don't need your mom, so... You're, yeah, well, what? I'm your mom, I don't need your mom. I, but not my mom, you're safe. You're the only one that's safe. Uh, okay. Mom, Dad, I'm home, I'm Ramon. Mom, oh, Ramon, we love you. I'm making Italian, hey. <laughs> He's bad at being Latino. I want I, I want to go to my room, okay? I, I, I just want my privacy. I, I won't be down for dinner. <laughs> oh, I'm smoking so much weed. Oh, I'm Ramon. I'm done. Well, I'm, I'm actually not high anymore. Yeah. Actually, I, I'm kind of hungry. I'll go down for dinner. Actually, I am kind of hungry. I'm down for dinner. I get high, okay? I get high! I mean, why, why shouldn't I, right? It's a white man's country. I mean, what, 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 what are we to them? We're nothing. Nothing! Have you seen that cartoon about the Rubik's Cube? You've come a long way. No, what do you mean? What do you... Oh, there it is on the TV. What is that cube? Oh, multiple colors. I get it. I get it. I bet white people won't get it, but I do. It's diversity. It's Rubik's Cube. I get it. It's the wave of the future. But why, when you solve the cube, do you do it by separating all the colors into sections? <laughs> 30 years later, I'm Ramon! I'm a, 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 a violent separatist! I have taken over the world! <laughs> oh! I got shot in the head! It wasn't fatal, but oh, my parents, my family, my white housekeeper. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry I turned my back on you for 30 years. I shouldn't have gotten <laughs> high. <laughs> Thank you, Latinos. All right, our Latinos. Our Latino audience, everybody. Thank you so much. You guys don't know how to approach these things. <laughs> I live in Los Angeles. Those were basically my people. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can't. I can't step too far forward. It rings out. Um, uh, shit. We got a uh, Jeff. You're. You're. This is our your last show with us for a couple shows. I. I, I I leave Harmontown for the next two shows. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can scramble to find somebody to fill in for you. Uh, uh, but uh, 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 is there any requests you have? Because it's, it's kind of like a I goodbye mean, party for you. Uh, I, would like, I would like to see more Jerry McSeinfeld. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dan uh, unleashed a new character where he's the Irish version of uh, Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Where were we? Bl Bloomington, we, were in, right? we were in Chicago, I think. No, 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 we were in... Uh, Bloomington. Bloomington. In, in Indiana. Jerry McSeinfeld. Jerry McSeinfeld. The Irish Seinfeld. So, uh, can I get somebody in the audience, uh, what's, a top, what's a pet peeve? Jerks. Jerks, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 say what? 
talking on phones, like somebody in, in line in front of you talking on a phone. Uh, this is Irish Jerry Seinfeld, Jerry McSeinfeld. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> oh. I, I would have gotten here sooner. But I had to wait in line. There was a guy in front of me. He kept doing one of these. You ever see one of these? This guy, this guy, hold my hand up like a phone. Who did, who's he talking to? Well, how's that conversation going? Oh, I'm in line. Uh, hey, everyone's in line. We're not telling the world about it. You know, uh, if you want to call somebody, use a phone booth. Thank you, Dan. What's up with all these phones? When did phones become so important? In my day, you didn't have to have a phone all the time. Now they're everywhere. Well, I guess that's just technology, and it's hey, uh, uh, actually. Uh, uh, how, about, how, about, how about something in the news? Something in the news. The Taliban. The Taliban. Uh, uh, Why do they call them the Taliban? <laughs> it sounds so playful. You know? Oh, the Taliban are coming over. Uh, that sounds fun, don't it? You, don't, you call them the, the skull fuckers or something. You know, call, them, call, them, call, them, call them, call them, the booger, booger eaters. You know, at, at least, you know, intimidate them a little bit. You know, we call you, we call you the booger eaters. Oh, well, then I won't blow so many things up then. Oh. I, I observe these things with my Irish perspective, and then I, I, I share them, and if you agree, then you, then you like it, and if you don't, then it's, uh, I scratch it off my set list. What, what's uh, coming out is uh, something that uh, really gets your goat? Drive to work. Uh, what? The drive to work? Okay, uh, Dan, because... What's that expression, <laughs> get me goat? What do you have to get someone's goat? I don't want yeah, your hey, goat. Hey, Dan, hold up. Because hold, hold up, why do you hold something up? Why can't you hold it down? That's just a, just a few things I've been observing. I want, I want a Jerry McSeinfeld rap uh, about what, whatever's on your mind. All right. Well, break it down. Yo, yo, I'm Jerry McSeinfeld. I'm here to say a few things I observed in a casual way. If they resonate with you, I'd like you to laugh or applaud. And if you don't, what's up with giraffes? Why are their necks so long? Why can't they eat smaller trees all along? Oh, I, I went to the zoo. What's a cord nut? It's not a nut. Oh. <laughs> All right, thank you. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do a thing. I'm gonna go at a breakneck pace now and do some confusingly elaborate shit really fast. Okay. My, my hero and mentor from who, who, who taught me uh, uh, not only uh, improv but uh, in comedy sports and how to, how to be a cool, good person and have respect for the audience. Uh, his his son was in Pittsburgh and, and like, like like freaked me out and then he told his dad that uh, 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 that I was coming to Madison and he came here. Uh, Bob Orvis, can you come up to the, uh, the stage? Bob Orvis. Whoa, he bolted. Uh, and, and Bob Orvis. Okay. And, and, and Morgan Groby, our uh, tour manager, uh, you need to come up here because uh, I'm going to use him for something. I want to do, just, we'll, we'll do it as quickly as possible because I, I, I have to do it. Where's Morgan? Morgan, you coming up? Okay. Morgan Groby, everybody. All right. Morgan's the, the brains on the road. He keeps us on schedule. Okay, we're going to play uh, Story because that was the first game I ever, uh, I, I learned from Bob and, I, and it was the first time he ever, uh, anyone ever respected me as an adult and said, hey, you're, you're good at Story and I, I'm not good at it. But Jeff, you're going to play it too. And uh, I feel like Spencer would be kind of good at this. And, uh, and, uh, and the interesting thing is when Dan was playing Story, he was right after he had his ass kicked into one. He had his eyes were so uh, swollen that and it wasn't Hispanic people that did it. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, 
You know what? It was black people. I just, I, 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 maybe that's what it was. I don't, maybe I, maybe I deserve, maybe I got this ass beating and I was like, why did they hate me? Like, what can I do for them? Uh, I don't know. I gotta work it out. I got 10 cities left or something. I'll figure out what's, what my deal is with race. Uh, so, explain the game for them. Okay, well, it's just, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna, uh, uh, you tell a story. He, whoever he points to uh, tells the story until he points at someone else. This is like basic. Basic improv game. Hey, uh, is McGavin, is there room for McGavin to have a mic? Is she chat? Do you have another mic? She, 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 yeah, only four. We can have four mics. Yeah. 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 All right. We can share a mic. Save Spencer until Spencer can observe how it works. So that, yeah, yeah, I, I think he'll be okay at it. Okay, all right, let's start. We need the, we need the title. Tid uh, title of the story. Say what? Dan Herman's Excellent Adventure. Yeah. Okay, fine. A little meta, but uh, maybe it'll be a critical hit. Uh, my, my joke's agent, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it was a cold and windy night. Dan Harmon had just stopped fucking the lights off my mother. <laughs> when a, a thought occurred to him. What if I took a jar of peanut butter and wore it as a hat and became the mayor of Madison, Wisconsin? Would that work? He said to himself as he peeled sweaty socks off of his hands. It had been a long time since he peeled sweaty socks off of anything, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but we didn't know what he meant, so he demonstrated how he peeled those hot, sweaty, Socks, inch by inch, inch by inch. Painstakingly, he pulled off the sock, peeling slowly off his sweat slick skin. The man decided to throw him against the fire, which had been fir firing in the corner for centuries. Dan burst into the yard with a gun. <laughs> it was a small gun, it was a harmless gun, because that's Dan Herman. But lethal nonetheless. Nine rounds to kill nine people. He was going to rob nine people of their souls <laughs> by shooting them. I don't need to over explain this, do I? I mean, it's, it's murder, it's been around forever. I, I, I'm sorry I tried to make it fancy. Um, Dan walked into the yard with the gun and saw in the corner of the yard, a small flower. It changed his mind for a moment. And then his mind changed back to me. <laughs> he went somewhere absolutely unusual. <laughs> he decided he wasn't going to rip that flower apart. He was just not going to water it. And just watch it sit and die. <laughs> <laughs> with the days as they flew off the calendar. Finally, the flower died. And he thought to himself, murder's a strange thing. Why did I walk out here with a gun? And then he remembered why and shot his next door neighbor, <laughs> who was a man by the name of Fred. Fred has been a gardener for about 14 years. Dan had stopped that gardener, that sexy little gardener. <laughs> With his long shears and his flirtatious eyes, full of little heart uh, shapes. <laughs> the police pulled up to Dan Tyman's apartment. Oh, what's all this then? said Officer McSeinfeld. <laughs> That your front yard is uh, a cast with dead people. <laughs> What's with dead people? I just think it's a strange thing to have in one's yard. I mean, I'm no decorator, but I think I have a high pitched voice. Because I am a Irish shaker. What's the deal? I have the blood on your shoes. <laughs> Why do they go to yards? We're not foot. <laughs> I mean, they're arranged in feet, right? Hey, why are we all sucking helium? We were asking each other. Suddenly, 
Dan turned to the side before he saw Credo's toe creeping toward him. It menaced slowly in the side yard in the shade as it revealed itself. Hi, Dan. Would you like a piece of cake? Fiddle's toe. Make it flow like <laughs> For all the children. <laughs> With Dan's gun. He shot Irish Seinfeld. Oh, why do they call it getting shot, said Irish Seinfeld. <laughs> why don't they call it getting bulleted? <laughs> Bob Arvin, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, I did it, I did it. Uh, yeah, I used to do that for a living, uh, and now I do this, not for a living. It doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know what, if, how much of it makes any sense. Um, Dan, you know what time it is? It's D&D &D time. Oh! Spencer, if you would, release the character sheets. All right. Aaron McGathy, back to stage. <laughs> I lost my uh, vibe thing about that. Oh, it's behind Jack. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Finally, someone in the audience yells out something practical. <laughs> with the location of my booze. I'm sorry, that was abusive. You know what it is? It's like you, change, you leave the Midwest, you come back, and you start acting like a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you know your shoes untied? My shoes. Someone, someone just told me my shoes untied. And when someone tells me my shoes untied, I go berserk! Stop! Uh, yes, I know it's on time. Dan, yours is here. Oh, thank you. All right, Spencer, if you would, bring us up to date in our campaign. Thank you. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, joke, oh, joke. Our heroes track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay up, stay up here, Frito. Frito, advise me if I can along. Our heroes trap deep the bowels of the mythical infinity I should discover a master swordsman. After some prodding, Vallis and the swordsman decided to journey deeper with the party. They headed fish west to a passage covered in acid-filled trenches. Using Tenger's floating disc to cross the passage, they launched themselves through a meat curtain. There they saw a mysterious eye stalk. Using multiple abilities, the creature charmed Quark. But after a fearsome nail-biting action sequence, the eye was destroyed. The group looked on to the three ways ahead before deciding which way to proceed. So do you guys remember you just killed that eye thing? There's three different paths. Right. Yeah, there's, 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 there's three blue portals, right? Yeah, they're okay. like holes in, in the wall. Are, are they labeled at all? They are not labeled. <laughs> as, a, as a ranger, do I have any sense for the right direction? You have a pretty good sense of direction, but most of that is relying on weather and or local flora and fauna and not the <laughs> organs of beasts. Gentlemen, I'm pretty confident it's the door on the far right. <laughs> All right. Or just power of elimination. I detect magic. Uh, uh, on all three of these orifices. Neither of them are magic. None of them are magical. <laughs> all right, uh, be, being a barbarian, uh, known for my whimsy, I, I walk up to the center portal and I, uh, I approach it and examine it. It looks the same as the other two. <laughs> How big is it? What's up? How, how large is this portal? I'd place it at about two and a half feet wide. <laughs> I, uh, I put a, a finger in it. Nothing, nothing happens. Okay. I ask the far left door if I, I say, if I ask the right door if I should take the middle door, will it tell me yes? It gives a fear, it's feeble with shuttle. Dance, yeah. magic dance! <laughs> Valentin pipes up. What are, you, what are you guys? What are you guys doing? Shtick. Oh, I like it. We're doing bits. I thought we were going to talk about swords. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Valentin, uh, nice sword you got there. Hey man, 
Thanks. Where, where, where'd, where'd you get that sword? It was forged in the fire of several thousand fire elementals. No shit? Yeah, no, no, it wasn't. The, uh, I, I, have, I have an emerald dagger. Do you, you like daggers or just swords? I think, you know, they are, they're like a, the baby sword, you know? Okay, well, I, I, have you seen my flaming sword? Pretty wild. I've seen it. I mean, can you can you make it strike far away? Not yet. But can, I, you, can, I, you, can you teach me how to do that? Well, as it happens, I can. But it I, involves harnessing your rage. I harness my rage to learn how to do something. If it were, <laughs> if it were that easy, you know. I, I'm, an, know. I'm an angry student. Well, let's see. Uh, swing your sword. I swing my sword. Nice. <laughs> your foot. Your footing's a bit off. So that? Your footing's a bit off. Move, move your left. Follow move. through. Uh, uh, right. Musical montage. It's a new way that you use it. I swing a sword. Comes and it goes. I try on different outfits. <laughs> no? I giggle and shake my head. And say next with my mouth. Visual gag. Okay, all right. So uh, I, I go through a musical montage with Val Valis and, and uh, I, do I learn how to Use my sword better? Let's see here. Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> so now you, uh, cut to, uh, now you know how to use the secret of the far sword. But remember, you can only use it once in a short while. Why don't both of you guys use it on two of these uh, doors? And, uh, you know, just in case there's something behind it that, that I'm sure there's not like a beautiful, like, uh, human being on the other side. Right? Just standing. So that would be the worst the case scenario, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, in fact, you know what? Let me handle that part. Uh, if there's a beautiful human being on the other side of any of these spinters, uh, you're about to get far sorted. Uh, if you're bound and gagged, uh, 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 it's a. Uh, I'm bound and gagged now. <laughs> Don't sort. <laughs> yeah, knock, knock in that pattern. Um, also, if there's a less beautiful being, you too, you too move. You'll also be hurt. Yeah, you'll be saving our lives. Um, okay, so, so why don't you guys far sword through these uh, holes? Okay. And, or, 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 do, do we risk killing somebody that we don't want to kill? You could close sword them too. <laughs> like they're not across a chasm or anything. Like you could walk up to it. But we're worried about what's on the other side of them, like a trap or something. Like something. Uh, I got you. Like something like a trap that can be cut and destroyed with a sword. Yeah. Well, I have trap sense. That's true. I, I sense traps. You sense no <laughs> traps. Yeah. And? And there's no traps. That's it. All right. I, I walk through the middle portal. Nice. This passage has a high ceiling from which is hanging a large, shiny, vein-looking sack of flesh in the shape of the kidney vein. Several arteries run from various walls into the dangling organ. A huge central cord seems to be its main support coming down from the ceiling. You can also see what appear to be blue-white sparks of light with multiple arcing limbs crawling to and fro across the surface of the organ. I asked Valisip if he'll follow me through the left butt, what are the two putt pucker thing. Yeah. I don't know, I'm scanning more than usual. I explained that to him that I I don't, I. I stammer sometimes, and then I take him through the uh, the left one. Hey man, I'm a swordsman, not like a speech coach. Let's go. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I wasn't fishing for anything, and I'm not. I'm just explaining that I'm not. Are you a, a fishing for something? <laughs> so, sweetie, go through the right door. Because if we're gonna take this thing out, we're gonna we're gonna have to kill its organs. I say all at once, you know. I think that's a good idea. Like, like I will. Uh, okay, so I, I I'll go to the right door. I, I'm in, looking at things. It's a kidney bean, so it's probably the kidney, right? So I, I'm, it I'm might looking, be. I'm looking at the kidney. It's an infinite kidney. <laughs> an infinity. <laughs> an infinity. Nice. <laughs> Guys, we're like a family. Yeah. Let's all split up and let's attack each organ. Let's all go in through different or, uh, uh, portals at once. Yeah. And then we'll each attack That's what I'm saying. I'm going through the left one with Valis. So I got the kidney. So you go through the left portal. What, 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 is it, what do you see in there? Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> this area is more covered in veins and arteries than other rooms. Above you is an intricate lattice of pinkish fibers and rope-like strands. Oh, yeah. 
The lattice starts about 30 feet above your heads, and the walls are pale pink, spiderwebbed with the delicate filigree of the veins. There are no exits, but above you, the whooshing of gases can be heard. You yeah. occasionally see a flash of blue-white sparks far overhead. That's, a, that's the lungs, right? It's got to be the lungs, baby. Yeah. yeah. So I got the kidney, you got the lungs. Uh, yeah, Molly, right. uh, go into the, the, the right portal. Yes, sir. Uh, I go into the right portal. Four slippery slopes lay before you, stretching down through inky, inky blackness several hundred feet. Shh, the balls. You think that you can pick one of these, but you shouldn't be able to climb up too easily. Hmm. It's like a, like a water world or something, you know, like slides. Oh. Like water slides. Yeah. Not, not like water world. All right, well. <laughs> I, not like the movie, like the, the, the knockoff part. There was, right. a, there was a part called water world? Yeah, man. What are the odds that there wasn't a part called water world? <laughs> Like, I'm just saying. Uh, the burden of proof is not me, okay? I, 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 <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm in the kidney room. Yeah, um, you are. Um, <laughs> how far is that sack uh, of the kidney bean shaped thing hanging above me? I'd say it's a couple feet ahead. All right, so I, I, uh, I attack it with, uh, with my uh, 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 vigor. With, with my... Uh, our sword! Flaming sword! Flaming sword attack. You strike the surface of the score of uh, the kidney bean, apparently, <laughs> scoring a huge slice across its surface. It is, it's then that you see the white blue sparks approach. Quickly, they knit it back together, healing it. Oh, fuck. That's that's why it's not called a temporary fish. <laughs> Dad. Um, just kidding. Um. Is it, is it my turn or? Yeah, so you went s south, or yeah, you went exactly. south. Can, can, can I punch up that, that, that joke? Uh -huh. That's why they don't call it a finny fish. Because uh, it's <laughs> finite. Yeah. yeah. I guess All right. Possible. Well, a finite fish. Yeah. 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 I, you know what, Madison? Uh, I, I, uh, I love your donuts. <laughs> um. There's just four slopes that go downward in different directions. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. All I have right. a great sense of, of adventure. <laughs> so I, uh, I jump down. I, 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 I close my eyes and I just jump randomly. And, yeah. <laughs> adventure. <laughs> Speeding down the slippery slope, you find yourself on a cushy landing. There appears to be a puddle of slime on the floor and a small spot that looks like a pulsating sphincter nearby. Oh, yeah. uh, like, you're, you're by the butthole, probably. Yeah. yeah. Guys, gotta see this! You're several hundred feet and a meat curtain away. <laughs> should we all go back up to the butthole? We should all get back up there. You don't even know that happened. Oh. Can they hear me if I call up to them? No. I mean, you just did and they didn't, so. Okay. What does it say? Silver Staff of Silva? Yeah, Silva. Uh, do you remember that thing that you climbed up out of the hatch with? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's, a, it's a long pole. Um, if you learn that if you tap it against something, it gets longer. And uh, there's a button that you can press on it. You don't know what it does. Press button. I press the button. It gets stuck. What do you mean it gets stuck? It gets stuck. Oh, the button does? Try to unstick it. I tap the staff on the... It's stuck. I, I uh, try to unstick it. It can't. It's stuck. You just, you just said try to unstick it. Yeah. Try to unstick it. Stop telling me what to do if it's not going to... You're like a bully. <laughs> Wait, I'm not, I'm not hitting you. I'm not hitting you. Hey, well, what's he doing? I'm sorry, the button's not it. stuck. The stick is stuck. <laughs> stuck in what? Stuck in wherever you had it last. You just can't move it. Because it's stuck. Because it, is the button stuck in the stick? No, the stuck? stick is stuck, the button's not stuck. I'm stuck and stuck. Alright, so I push the button. It becomes unstuck. <laughs> Yeah, 
I can't figure it out. Yeah, I dig it. Uh, well, that, you know, you just learned something. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let me see if I did. I stick the stick into the, the meat around me. Okay, um, you do that, and it gets taller. So if you hold on, it'll, it'll lift you into the air. All right, I, I want to reduce it again. Okay. How do I do that? You tap it again. I tap it. There you go. Okay. I push, I push the button. It gets stuck. Your relationship with Spencer has become curiously more paternal. All right, All right just give me a second here, will you? I, I, I unstick, I, 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 I push the button again. Nice, it gets unstuck. Okay, okay, all right, all right, okay. All right. Uh, it's like a tape measure. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay, all right, I can do this. Uh, Keep it together, Harmon. Uh, of that exchange, the best gets a free t-shirt. Um, I wanna, I wanna, I mean, I'm sure it's not my turn anymore because I just did all that bullshit. But, uh, you know, if it were my turn, and I'm not <laughs> saying it is, but I would, uh, I would rather it not be so I can figure out what I want to do. I, I, I take out my, uh, my emerald dagger and attack the kidneys. You attack the kidneys. Let's see if you hit. Let's see if you do damage. You do seven damage, wow. but again, those sparks knit the wound. Ah, oh, fuck. The sparks crawl across the wound. <coughs> the sparks then approach you with menace. Uh oh. They miss. <laughs> Thank God for that. I know what I want to do. All right. Summon monster two. Okay. I want to summon my squid. Okay. Can I can I control what the squid does? Can I kind of like? Yeah. I tell the squid, grab all those those lungs and squeeze them. Squeeze those lungs. Uh, Albert. <laughs> Albert the squid? There are no lungs. They, there might be lungs far above you, but Squeeze not. those alveoli. Squeeze those arteries. Things that Spencer described. The squid fails to reach them. They're too far overhead. I press the button on the squid. <laughs> Nothing happens. Different squid, guys. Sorry, someone just asked a question. Yeah, I heard All right, well, 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 I, 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 I put the uh, staff, mm -hmm. okay, I tap it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb up there. <laughs> You're now on the lattice, you can climb it easily as if it were a ladder. I do so. You climb it easily as if it were a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite thing about Spencer is how bored he seems. <laughs> I'm, I'm not bored. I know you're not. I know you're not. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the flashes of light get closer and brighter. Darting to and fro across the stamped strands, you can make out the spidery figures composed of bright light or some sort of energy. Oh, shit. The figures speed up as you get closer. You can see at the heart of this webby mesh is a large, thin wall of membrane behind which a bright glow is cast. You hear the whooshing of gas exchange, respiration. The membrane expands and contracts rhythmically. That's the lungs. And I can't, I can't reach that from here, but I've got a guy with a far sword power. I leave the kidney room and join Sharpie uh, in the lung room. That'd be too convenient. You don't know that he needs you. I, yeah, but he's, doing, he's not doing it for that reason. He's doing it because I, he owes me $5. Yeah. I, 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 I get lonely, and I leave the kidney room, and I call out to Sharpie. Flash, flashback to yesterday. Hey, Kay, can I borrow five bucks? Yeah, yeah, but I want it back. Like, I, you always fucking forget about it. Look, if we get separated, I'll fucking find you. All right, well, but I'm serious. No matter what, no matter what, I don't care what's going on, I want you immediately, 24 hours from now, to come Sharpie, find me. You're being my $5. You're, right? being, you're being an asshole. Can you blame me? Neither a borrower or a lender be. Well, do you want me to follow that? I need five, I need five bucks back. Okay, fine. Swear to God. Swear okay. to fucking God. Okay. I, I, uh, what, what God? It's all, it's three. Okay. I swear to all three gods that if I ever, if I ever get separated from you and, and I owe you this five blah, bucks. Blah, blah, blah. Flash forward. Yeah, I'll take it. Remembering that I owe Sharpie five dollars, I leave the kidney room and climb back through the whatever meat curtain or whatever portal I went through. You don't know what meat curtain Sharpie's behind. I, Shit. 
I go through the, the, uh, the left uh, portal. All right, great guess. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, he was in the left one. 30 feet overhead, you see a pink mesh lattice of strands of some sort. I use my climb ability to climb up a lattice. Mm, nope. What? <laughs> Attempting to scale the wall, you fail miserably. Sharpie! Well, isn't the, isn't the staff still? Yeah, you can see a silver staff reaching I, right I, to the I, 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 tap, I tap the staff. No, don't tap. It gets stuck, right? It's still, I think it's just there. I, I climb up the staff. You climb up the staff. Jesus Above Christ. you, you see the, the, the unprotected loins of a robed figure. <laughs> Well, they, they, they don't do a lot else. <laughs> All right, here's a five out of you. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, uh, yeah, 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 it's so uh, good. All right, I use my far sword ability to slash uh, at the lungs. Calling upon your training and harnessing your rage, you brandish your sword with much vigor and expertise. With one clean stroke, you make a burst of wind emanate forth from your sword. A large slash appears in the membrane. You feel like you might be able to crawl through it. I crawl through it? You crawl through it. You're inside of what seems to be a large spherical chamber. There's holes in the ceiling, and through those holes you hear a gurgling noise before a large blob of snot drops onto the floor before you. It arranges itself into a spider-like form. You see blades appear on its limbs. Jesus. It looks ready to anger fight. Sharpie, get in here. I, I go through the uh, membrane. All right, that happens. Me meanwhile, by the sphincter. Yeah, so there's a puddle of slime in that sphincter. I, uh, I tie some of my rope to mm -hmm. an arrow. Okay. <laughs> and I shoot, I shoot the arrow up the, up the slide from whence I came. You can't shoot that far. But I try really hard. <laughs> or, I, or I shoot half as far. Can I get like half the way up? You can get half the way up. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I go half, half the way, and I'm... Yep. <laughs> and I shoot another arrow to get the other way, <laughs> the other half up. While I'm doing this, I'm, I'm uh, longing for, uh, for Sharpie. I'm imagining that maybe, um, that maybe Quark came across his loins and I'm jealous. With a sense of partial embarrassment and jealousy, you find <laughs> It gets you towards the top of that ledge that we were talking about. <laughs> All right. By the way, for podcast listeners, my, my, my best high school friend, Dave Frito, has been sitting up here the entire time. <laughs> She was aware of where Dan went, so it didn't right. the bullshit. Can, can, can she rejoin us? Bloop, she's there. Okay. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're all in the lungs right now. Yep, yep. All right, cliffhanger. Cliffhanger! Cliffhanger! <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Dungeons and Dragons with you. 
Uh, because the truth is, I bought that Dungeons and Dragons shirt that Dave saw, but I, I actually, like, I just bought it because I thought it was cool, and I wanted to seem like a guy that played Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I bought it at, uh, I think I went to uh, Gen Con and bought it. Um, <clears throat> all right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta wrap things up, uh, uh, f for better or for worse. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know, I know. We were told to get out of here, uh, at, like, 9.30, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I always feel we gotta be we gotta be off quicker than that because uh, yeah, they gotta they gotta uh, uh, mop the stage for. Uh, uh, Dan, Dan you, 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 yeah, wrap things up. Not with a W, it was an R A P. Wrap things up. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're from here, uh, Dan. We came to uh, Madison. Milwaukee is only what like an hour away. Yeah. And you're in. We didn't we didn't meet your family. Bones didn't come. Your mom and dad didn't come. No, we we don't get along. <laughs> Like my brother's not, my brother's still mad because I read his emails. I had Adam Goldberg read his emails, and uh, you know I, 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 I he wrote me uh, even more hilarious emails about how mad he was about it, and uh, I I didn't read them because uh, you know he's stupid and uh, <laughs> and he's overly dramatic and he's five years older than me and uh, uh, he should he should uh, he should. Uh, be a, a big brother to me and say, well, you can do whatever you want, you're my little brother. But instead he's a big nod. <laughs> and if you is love it, your is brother. It, is, is it weird for you to come back to uh, Wisconsin and not, not touch base at all with your family? Like they're, they're only an hour away and you, you rarely see them. What, no, was because, time, what was the last time you saw your brother? I, uh, 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 I don't know. I, well, I, I think it was like, uh, I think I came out for his wedding to Milwaukee and he was gonna get married. And then I had a big fight with him the night before his wedding, so then I just went to the zoo with my girlfriend and went home. I don't, I don't, I don't like him. <laughs> and he doesn't like me. We, 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 can't, we can't be together without fighting, you know? It's like, it's, it's do, do you think you'll ever, like, as you get older, you'll ever be friends with him again? I don't know, well, I mean, we've gone through periods where several years go by and it's like we're cool with each other, you know, because he's, uh, he has his business, you know, like, 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 like we, 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 we overlap with interests. Like we were both into like uh, computer modeling for a while and like, like but it's got to, it, it, like, it's a relationship dependent on a lot of time and space, like between like receptors. Like anytime it gets, you know, I, 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 it's hard for me to not piss him off in some way. Yeah. Right. How about your mom and dad? Uh, they're in Florida. They're in Florida. <laughs> Is your grandpa still alive? Which grandpa? Gu Guadalcanal. No. He's no, dead. He died of emphysema. What's that? Yay, Guadalcanal. Yay, Guadalcanal? <laughs> you're, you're cheering the Battle of Guadalcanal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheering the service. I'm cheering the You're cheering the. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Both of my grandpas on my mom and dad's side, my uh, biological grandpas, they were both like hardcore, like fucking World War II guys. Like they both fought in different theaters. I can't remember. Uh, one was the majestic. Uh, was, no. <laughs> no, I, think, I, think, I think my grandma, my grandpa, on my mom's side, I th it was at Guadalcanal, and like never talked about it. And then my gra grandpa on my dad's side, uh, I, I, I think he was in Europe. I can't, but I can't remember actually. I, he, he was somewhere badass, and like, uh, uh, yeah. And then I did improv and uh, wrote Monster House. <laughs> so we all contributed to uh, freedom. <laughs> Also, I complain about the government nonstop and, uh, and, and about paying taxes. But you know what? I never really realized what sacrifice meant until I came to Madison. <laughs> As I close down the show, I wonder how to grow. doesn't make sense, <laughs> but we've all done our Sorry, I thought you were interrupting me. Sorry, I got a little bit of Jeff, I'm going to miss you. You're going to leave for a couple I'm shows. I'm gone for two, uh, for two days, for two shows. I have to go to shows with Greg Brooks and Ryan Stiles in Washington. And uh, you're, all, you're going to be on your own. Aaron McGathy is going to be sitting where I'm sitting right now. Yeah. Get that. We'll be a whole different kind of show. I'm gonna make
Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Frito.